Welcome back to Elden Ring. Now that we've defeated Margit, let's explore this castle. And one small thing to do before that, now that we have Margit's um, scrotum, we can now have two talisman. So for the second one, there isn't any that I'm like, oh yes, I definitely want that one. So for now, I'm going to go with the Assassin's Crimson Dagger. Critical hits restore HP. Yeah, let's see how much HP it restores. That'll determine whether it's worth it, I think. Wait, what does this say? I did it. Good job. God, look at all the birds circling around. I suppose there's just mountains of bodies in here, huh? This castle's taking some serious damage. Expect high spot. No. That's sure death. Jumping. Jumping required. Uh, no. Like, look at this bloodstain. How did you die? Those are holes. Like, holes have been... dug into the castle. What did that exactly? It's not something just a siege weapon would do. Try jumping. No, thank you. Something ahead. There's no hidden path. Oh, there's something else down there. Oh, that leads to the item. Yes. Fire grease. You there? C come over here, would you? you you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. Very well. Thank you, I think. I'm a little suspicious. Yes, that's the spirit. Okay, I'm even more suspicious. It's just the kind of tarnish that I like. Naive. I pray for your success. Hmm. You 
Use that to guard your slip. What if I say no, I use the main gate? Of course, I understand. When you approach the gates, I'll signal them to open. It's only your neck on the line after all. Oh. Hmm. Wait, I just managed to land on that table without breaking it. How did I do that? <gasps> you can do it. You just have to make sure you're just a good distance away. And you don't touch it on the way up, which is what I thought might be the thing before, but... I don't know, it just never seemed to work. But it does work. I just wasn't doing it right. Anyway, main gate or breach? Mm, I don't trust that. I'm going to take the main gate. Okay. All right, you were right. Fair enough. The gates are open. It's only your neck. So pretty, so colorful. Be wary of bird. Be wary of up. Oh. Sorry, Burb. Oh, it's got... It's got blades on it. On its feet. Oh my god.
Wow, what an interesting enemy. Flight pinion. It's a crafting ingredient. Treasure chest ahead. No. Gorgeous view ahead, though. Over there. Yeah, those holes. What made them? There's vines growing all in them. Did the vines make them? Here we go. Marred leather shield. Well, that didn't take long to roll to my death. Aha! I took one down with me. I was thinking. Actually, I was trying to get back because I didn't want to fight there because I was worried I'd fall off. But then while trying to get away, I fell off. Exile armor. Hmm. Be wary of archer. Let's take a look at the shield and <clears throat> the new armor. Does not block 100% physical. It's better at lightning and holy. And a bit better on weight, but... Uh, oh, and its attacks, I guess, can cause bleeding? Leather shield of Stormvale soldiers. Much like the castle, it's marred by modeling and thorns. Some say it's the curse of grafting which causes such affliction, while others talk of its root being something altogether more sinister hidden deep within the castle. I don't like references to grafting because the only other thing I've heard about grafting is the spider and being grafted to it and having all of your limbs removed. Physical damage negation is much better. Mm, elemental is much worse, as usual. Yeah, it's give and take. Damaged armor draped with a large, deep red cloth worn by soldiers sent to the penal colonies. Is it fashion? Kinda? I don't like how it covers up my face, though. It looks like I'm bundled up as if I'm really, really, really cold. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, no. The armor itself is pr like pretty good looking. It's just that like bundling around the shoulders and the lower face I don't like. One of these days, I will find armor that's different from the starting armor. <laughs> One of these days. Uh, 
That was a good warning about the archer. Don't think I can reach the other one from here. Well, we don't need Margit's shackle anymore. Let's go back to the lantern. Throwing rocks at me, rude. Oh, right. We have that um, that new talisman. I want to see how much health gets restored from a critical hit. So I have, I have, four forty health. Turning into backstab. Yes. 440 to 590. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 150 health. So I get 150 health back. That's pretty good. That's significant. Yeah, for sure significant. Hmm, these look explosive. Yes, they are. Uh, they didn't hear that. Oh no. Ah! Rolling through explosives. Oh, that is so satisfying. Hook claws. It's a little bit of a dex weapon. Causes blood loss buildup. More than my flail. 60. And I'm imagining it's probably a pretty fast attack. Yeah, its base damage is... Well, it's not plus five like my Knight Rider Flail, but I'm pretty sure the base damage is lower than this was at base. It does... I, I don't know if that's a percentage. It does 110 critical. Is that 110% critical damage? Instead of 100 like a normal weapon? Yeah, almost everything is 100. But that is 110. I'm going to assume that's percent. Weapon worn on the fist comprised of sharp parallel blades favored by those who lurk in the dark. Lacerations cause blood loss with great effect. Claw weapons come in pairs and two handing this weapon will equip it in both hands. Skill is quick step. Skill prized by the crafty and fleet of foot. Perform a quick step maneuver that allows for circling around lock on targets. Oh, so that's for getting backstabs in, huh? Okay, um, let's see how fast we can attack. So, flail, quick attacks. Hit, hit, hit. Hit, 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 hit. Okay, definitely faster. So it causes more blood loss and is faster. And that's just one-handing it. I'm very... Oh, I'm very intrigued by this. Like, what kind of fucked up sorcerer can I be? Like, the clawed sorcerer. The clawed astrologer. How cool is that? 
See how fast we can claw, claw. See how fast we can claws, blood claws build up. Words. Oh yeah, let's do the strong attack. Leaping. And the special. Uh, I think I have to use it while... It specifically mentioned using it to get around a lock-on target, so I really should be locked onto somebody. Trina's arrow. Ooh. Yeah, that's a whole pathway. Commoner's headband. Altered? Altered? Headband with the cloth removed. Standard wear for commoners of the lands between. Only, there are no commoners remaining with their wits about them. It's worse at everything but weight. But is it fashion? Actually, it is fashion. I actually really like that. How much worse is it? Like, the head piece never protects you that much anyway. It's really not that big of a difference. I'm gonna wear it. I like it. I like seeing my hair. I like seeing my pink hair. Whoa. Who did that? Where did that come from? Oh, they're just right up there. Alright, fuck them. I'm going out this hole. Let's try the quick step. So like, it does take, yeah, it takes a very, very small amount of FP to use.
That works. Be wary of down. be a strong foe. Be wary of are you ready? Got him. Curved sword talisman. Depicting a curved sword and a swordsman enhances guard counters. It's said that a blind swordsman was the originator of this technique, the art of allowing one's opponent to strike so as to leave them vulnerable to a well-timed reply. Hmm. That could be quite useful. More useful than the assassin one? Possibly. Let's try it out. I'd have to test it out properly to like figure out Percentages of how much better it makes it. A rusty key. That must be for the locked door. of trap jumping ahead how do I get that I probably have to get it from outside because I can't I can't jump high enough Probably just from over there. Hmm. I 
feel like I might be able to jump to that pole and then jump in that hole where there's a message and maybe that could get me over there. Let's try this way first though. Oh, that gets me this item. Brick hammer. Whoa. <laughs> Brutal. Well, this doesn't get me into that hole. That's the hole over there, I think. It might be possible to drop down from that. If we can get over there from somewhere else, obviously. Let's take a look at that brick hammer. Requires 31 strength and weighs a lot. Weapon made from an ordinary stone brick, wielded by a laborer who led a rebellion and later became a champion himself. Even among other bludgeons of its size, this weapon is especially weighty. The strength of a giant is required to wield it. I'm heckin' mad. Okay, where am I trying to get to? Oh, I guess there is the other way to go, because this is... Like, if I jump down there, that's where we've already been. Yeah. Silver pickled foul foot. The normal pickled one gives you more runes. What does this give you? More item drops or something? Yeah. Temporarily boosts item discovery. Edge. Could this be it? The thing that leads around to the thingy where you can drop down onto the thingy. Mushrooms. Behold, mushroom. It might be the thing that I'm thinking of if I could get to the other side, but obviously I can't. Aw. No door ahead.
That lift is pretty far down there. Is there not a lever? No. Not on this level, anyway. Ah, here. Visions of lever. Ah, oh, it doesn't move. Could this be an item? Oh. If only I could jump crouch or something. I want to wriggle through there. Grace ahead. been a while since we've gotten one of those. Praise the Elden Ring. We've got the site of Grace Way and then upstairs. Let's go over where the site of Grace is. You. Oh, I see a message over there. I could maybe make that jump. Try jumping. I'm considering it. I mean, why not? The side of grace is right there. I don't even have that many souls. Yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, how did you get up there, though? Oh my god, holy crap, I almost killed myself, but... Precious item ahead. I don't think that's true. Oh, no, it actually does lead to an item. <gasps> Sorry for doubting you. Smithing stones. Gotta up with that. That is zero appraisals. I'm gonna add one of my own. Item ahead. Try running and then jumping. Because I think you have to sprint. Like, if you just jump, I don't think it... Oh, no, no. You can do it with just jumping, but I think it's easier if you sprint. Shortcut ahead. Look, 
God, I love that you can jump. Like, all these areas would be inaccessible before. I love it. Regret ahead. Hmm. No item then? Dead end ahead. Aw. Oh, but it keeps going for a while. I gotta just keep going. Cramped area. Oh, cramped area. Look carefully, but turn back. So, don't go from here, but to do note, there's an item down there and enemies and stuff. I want to go home. Oh, give up. Dead end. Be wary of up. Yeah, I saw a bird. It's wearing a bit of a cage on its head. It has a spike on its head as well. Dozing cross-legged. Don't give up, friend. Friend ahead. Okay, I think that's it for this area. I could drop down at all sorts of different points, but I don't really feel like there's much of a reason to yet. I think I'd rather just explore those places normally. So let's just teleport back to the Rampart Tower. What was the other way to go? I've already forgotten. So I jumped from here, which I should upvote, by the way. Try jumping. Yeah. Try a ranged battle. Good idea. Too far for my spells, unfortunately. Ah, right, this is the normal way. Castle. You know what? That's true. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god, that's cool. That is so cool! They throw explosive barrels at me. Do it again, do it again. Arcs might be better for this, because of how they move. Left ahead and then jumping off. Oh yeah, there is actually something to fall down to. Something incredible ahead. There's nothing. Or wait, no, 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 hold on. I can fall down there and there's an item. Anything else to fall down to? No, just that. Marred wooden shield. It's not very good. <laughs> Wooden shield of Stormvale soldiers, much like the castle, it's marred by modeling and thorns. 
Mm, yeah, same description as this shield. Where does this go? Like, this just keeps going down. Hmm. Can you not hit that little ledge? Nope. <laughs> you can't. Thank you, Bloodstain. Whoa! I was not expecting that. Thank God I landed in some light bushes that broke my fall from a hundred meters up. I'll take it. I guess they're made of cotton. Oh no. Oh no. That thing looks very similar too and has the is taking the exact same amount of damage as the whatever the name was where I got the tail swipe thing from. Yeah, they're they're very very similar. If I just wait for them to put down their shield... Try lift. Oh, this is my last FP. Try lift. Lift required. Oh no. That's it. Do I have any throwables? I have an explosive stone. Uh, these take FP, so there's no point. Oh, you know what? I do have a starlight shard. How did that hit a shield? It came from behind you. That just missed. Okay, sure. Almost there. Oh, thank God. Aspect of the Crucible Horns. Whew. Look at all these blood stains. I did it. Good job. Praise the parrying. I have no idea where this is leading to.
this is where the lift is. This is the bottom of the lift. Tr uh, luring out required ahead. Up ahead. Hmm, it said no item. I still want to go there, though. First off, fingers, butthole. Nice. Aww. And we're back here. Let's continue forwards instead of jumping off this time. It blew itself up! Poor thing. Bird ahead. Look carefully. Is that a bat? I think so. Ooh. I could jump down there. Oh, there's an item. An open window? I think that's my only way in, yeah. It's that or teleport back. Someone to talk to. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind. For grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. I'm here to defeat Godric. I see. Here to challenge Godric and lay your hands upon a great rune, are you? You can see it then, I take it. The guidance of grace. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm tarnished, like you. But... Unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the longest time. Still, I won't forget how it felt when I first came here, to the lands between. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? As a fellow tarnished, once guided by Grace, I'd love to help you out, if it please. Yes, I finally found the sorcerer. I'm just going to buy all of these. Can I afford all of them? Yeah, I can. Glintstone Pebble, Carrion Greatsword, and Spinning Weapon. Grants affinities and skills to an armament. Hmm. Oh, do these all do that? Usable on swords as well as pole arms, capable of thrusting. Usable on swords. Hmm, I'm not sure if any of these are actually going to be usable on a flail. The battle art you've learned is of the Glintstone family. They were conceived at the Great Academy of Rhea Lucaria, to the north of this castle. In the past, they obeyed laws which contravened the Golden Order, or so I'm told. Fascinating, isn't it? That the Golden Order was pliable enough to absorb practices that contradicted itself in the past. With the Order broken, twisted, and in need of repair, such adaptability is more important now than ever. 
I wonder if they'll show up at the um, round table. And then maybe there I can give them the scroll that I have. Oh, Kane. Oh, I can't get up there. That's not what I meant to use. Oh, I got commoner's shoes. It's worse at everything, but weighs less. What does that look like? Ah, I can't really see much because my main thing is so long. It's just a big robe. What if I took that off? Yeah, I don't think that's fashion. No. Yeah, backstab! A banished Knight's Greatsword. Surprisingly, actually only requires 17 strength. A finely crafted greatsword intricately engraved with an ancient motif. Given to knights who, whether by misfortune or misdeed, were forced to abandon their homes. Most of these knights were sent to the fringes, where they were forced to start anew with only despair for company. There's too many ways to go. I'm getting stressed out just thinking of all the ways. Too many ways. Praise the ladder. I can agree with that, at least. Okay, this is up where I originally fell down from up there. Fell down there. So this led back up. Okay, leads back up. I'm not sure if I would survive that. Wait a minute, I have cotton. I would definitely survive that with cotton. I see a fog wall down there. I don't know, let's go this way first. down there. The fuck is that? That better not be the grafted spider thing. I don't think so. Praise the ranged battle. I do see a lot of limbs hanging everywhere. That could be it. Oh Christ.
Oh my god. It's a giant that's been... I was gonna say it's been gutted, but actually, aren't they normally like that? They have a hole in their chest? They actually might. I'm not totally sure. But, yeah, a couple limbs have been removed. Fed to the dogs, looks like. Secret passage ahead. Oh my god, where does all this go? Just trying not to lose track of where I've been. Now the other side of the food pit. Turtleneck, thank you. Stone sword key. Ugh. This room is horrifying. Okay, and this loops around to the other area where we already were. Okay. We saw this knight through the windows. Okay, nope, magicking you. They just keep taking all my stamina when I'm blocking. Their hits just hit so hard.
Mimic's Veil. Uses FP to mimic nearby objects. When Godric was hounded from Lindell, the royal capital, this was one of a multitude of treasures he took with him, also known as Marika's Mischief. Okay, we gotta try that out. What'll I be? I'm a box! A very blurry box. Why am I so blurry? My god, I look like I came from Dark Souls 1. <laughs> How much FP did that use? Not very much at all. Oh, this totally blends in. It's so natural, no one will ever suspect. <laughs> I love it. I wonder if that works on the AI at all. Also, where did we come from? I don't remember. Um. Oh, we came from over there, right? This just looped back around to where we started. Started? Yes. Yes. Yes, that does. But I haven't been down here yet. Oh, I don't have any FP. I could use Marika's thing one more time, though. Or Mimic's Veil, rather. Marika's Mischief. Now, of course, they won't hear me from the back, so the question is, if they see me, will they react? Yes. Oh, I need some Estes soup. snow ahead. Highland Axe. Not really a strength or a dex weapon. Has increased critical hit. Single-sided axe used by the warriors of the Highlands. Brave combatants begin battle by crying out their names. Roars are enhanced by this weapon. Oh, this is where the doggies are. Sounds like fashion souls. That sounds so pretty. Well, the giant's hand just swaying back and forth slightly. Oh, we saw this from the top and weren't able to use it, so I think this is another shortcut. I can't remember if this leads right to the side of grace or not. I hope it does. I desperately need my potions back. 
Oh, it does. Yes. Shortcut. Give me my stuff back. Clean the blood off me. Now, let's take a look at that crimson hood. Hooded cloak of vivid crimson worn by expatriated royalty. Increases vigor. Oh, it does by one. Such cloaks were gifted to those who departed on journeys without specific orders to faraway lands from which they would never return. In other words, the gift of a cloak made it easier for undesirables to be on their way. Roderica never once saw the guidance of grace. Hmm. Well, it's better than what I'm wearing right now, just because what I'm wearing right now is horrible. So I don't really care about that, I care about how it looks. It's very pretty. Does it work with everything else I'm wearing? <sighs> Not really? Oh, that looks so pretty though. It's just all covered up by the robe. That is so pretty. That looks nice. It has different configurations based on the other armor you're wearing. They must have made like different versions of the asset to fit all these different things, I guess. Although I think they kind of just said nah with the astrologer's robe and just put it under. I guess it didn't work when it was over. Ah. Okay. I am going to wear that at some point. It is so pretty. I just need a different chest piece. Yeah, I just need a chest piece that fits it better. Before I forget about it, I want to fall down this hole. Because I don't know where the heck that goes. Maybe it's somewhere I've already been. Maybe it's not. Let's use some cotton. Oh yeah, just down where the sorcerer is. Things are a bit different at the round table. I'm not sure where Roderica is. And who are you? Good to see you again. Thank you very much. Oh, that's Roderica. I have you to thank, don't I? For persuading Master Hugh. They changed their clothes. I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish. But if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the Spirit Tune Apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm glad you found a purpose. So what is Spirit Tuning? You can spend runes and great clove warts to strengthen the spirits you summon from ashes. To strengthen named spirits, you'll need ghost glove warts. Okay, I don't actually summon anything from ashes so far, so at the moment this is not actually useful. Sorry. I'm sure you're great, though. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? I did want to upgrade some stuff though. I took you for no matter, it's all the same. Out your arms then. Yeah, let's upgrade my staff. And that's all I can do. Let's level up our intelligence. There's three different pathways I can think of that I haven't explored yet. From this main hall, two of them are from here. This main hall where we killed the... thing? I don't know what it was. The thing with a lot of limbs that we ranged. Yeah, one of them is over here, and we need some stone sword keys, which we have. First off, castle.
Be wary of enemy. item. Grants choice of affinity upgrade to weapon. Hmm? Affinity upgrade? When applying affinity using Ashes of War, an additional affinity of heavy, keen, or quality can be chosen. Hmm. Oh, interesting. That might be able to make something like more dex oriented or something like that. Like heavy's probably strength, keen's probably dex. I don't know what quality would be. Hawk crest wooden shield. Doesn't do full physical, or scarred boost. Adorned with a long with a long forgotten crest of Stormvale, ancient in design. Misery cord. It's a weapon. Oh, its critical damage is 140%. That's really high. Dagger favored by military physicians in white. The pointed blade is hard and sharp, making critical hits especially potent. Medicine is mercy, and mercy upon the battlefield is ruthless. Beware the killers clothed as men of compassion. As the quick step thing, just like the bear claws. This thing must be tiny, right? Yeah, it is tiny. Be wary of left. Liar ahead. Whoa. Wait, is there a point to this? Oh, we saw this from up there. Yeah, I remember this was the place with the the white fog wall, which was there because you need a key. The stone sword keys to get in. Okay, so that was pathway number one. Pathway number two... is... not... no, yes it is this way. Oh boy. They're waiting. With flame cannons. Do I want to walk out into that? I don't know, but this is probably the main pathway. This is probably the critical path. Which means, I don't want to go there just yet. I want to try the other pathway. So the other one is something that you might have forgotten. I almost forgot it. I did forget it for a little while, actually. It's back at the main lift area. Here. I never went up.
pack ahead. I hear him. Jumping required. Is there anything up there, though? That's the question. That is not an item. Jump attack required ahead. I don't know if I would advise that. Stone sword key. Be wary of raptor. Yeah, I guess they are raptors. I think my best bet from here is probably just to teleport back. Let's try these other pathways. We could fall down, but before that... I think we have to fall down. Oh, somebody jumped onto the top of that. Good jump. There's an item down there, but I think I already got it. There's a rat down there. Let's see if I can survive this fall. This is a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to head out to what seems like the main courtyard, or at least a courtyard of the castle, which we're looking at down below right now. 